Hey, Brian, this the world right here. Say hi to the world. Hey, check this out. One of the most difficult challenges you're going to face becoming successful is you're going to lose a lot of friends when you become serious about your life and about your goals and about you. See, what you got to understand is everybody got two eyes, but nobody got the same view on life. Don't nobody want to be what you want to be. Don't nobody understand what you trying to be. So they don't get it. So the problem is your friends will say you change when you reform your life. When you changing your life to become. They don't understand. And they'll try to drag you back to the person you once was. But you ain't there no more. And it's going to take some discipline when you test it. You're going to have to overpower their persuasion from you trying to get to your destination and try to get them back to the friend they used to know. But check this out. Ain't no cloud. When you look up, ain't going to be the same cloud the next day. It changes. Life changes. Things changes. Your views changes. The things you want to do in life going to change. And you got to change the people around you when you become it. You got to divide your friends from your associates. Hey, check this out. Nothing can intervene when a seed is forming up to a tree unless that seed die out from the lack of good soil. So the human mind works the same way. If you're not in good soil, you will never grow. No matter how talented you is, no matter how promising you is, no matter how well put together, how built you is, if you're not in good soil, you will never grow. So if you're around a bunch of negative people, if you're around a bunch of haters, if you're around a bunch of people that's drinking and smoking and you ain't drinking and smoking no more, if you're around a bunch of people that want to go to the club and hang out and you don't go to the club and hang out no more, you ain't never going to grow. If that soil ain't correct around that correct seed, that seed won't be corrected. Feel what I'm saying? You got to protect your seed and put it around good soil. The soil can produce a tree that'll last 100 years. And a bad soil that you place around that seed can harm that seed from breaking the ground and going up. You will never sprout around bad soil. You will never sprout around a negative environment. I don't care how positive you is. It's hard to think positive in a negative environment. You got to correct the soil. Everybody got two eyes, but don't nobody got the same view. Don't nobody got the same vision as you. It's important to have these type of friends around you to put the right, correct soil around you. These are the type of friends you're going to need in life. You're going to need friends that inspire you to keep going. I'm talking about push you every day, inspire you. Maybe they life better than yours. Maybe they car they driving is better than yours. Maybe they house bigger than yours. Maybe they job description is better than the job you picking. Maybe any business is better than yours, but that's going to inspire you to want the same thing that your friends got. You got to have friends around you that's passionate about protecting you at all costs. And even more passionate about staying on top of you and making sure you execute what you came to do. You got to have people that's motivated to keep you going. Even on the days you feel like giving up, I don't want to do this no more. It ain't happening fast enough. And here come homie. Because you got to keep going. You almost there. That's your friend. You got to have friends that's grateful to be associated with you. You got to have friends that's grateful to have a friend like you. Know you well. And they want to stay there. And they support you everywhere. It's important to have support a friend. Because if you ain't supporting, you ain't important. You got to have friends that's open minded about life. And not mentally trapped into their own beliefs. You got to get from around these people that's so stubborn in their belief that they don't see what you see. Get from around them because remember, everybody got two eyes, but don't nobody got the same view. If your friends don't want to travel, if your friends don't want to see the world and see that it's bigger than outside this hood, it's bigger than these corner stores and these liquor stores and these clubs we go to, it's bigger than that. If they don't want to travel and see the world with you, lead them and go by yourself. Book a one-way ticket, and you ain't tripping. You trying to get it. Feel what I'm saying? If your friends don't want to start a new business with you, you talking to your friends like, let's open up a business. Let's do some things in life. And they don't want to do it with you? 
do it with Adam. Start that business with Adam. And that might inspire them to do it because they seen you do it and they know they was just like you. If your friends don't want to go work out and they too lazy to start running and jumping and jogging, jumping jack, do it with Adam. Start with Adam. Go with Adam. Sign up for a gym membership with Adam. And maybe they'll tighten up and get up off that lazy truck. Shut butt. Shout it. Feel what I'm saying. Don't rob yourself out of experience just because your friends don't want to go. Everybody don't want to grow. Changes make you feel uncomfortable because it's something different than you always do. You got to become comfortable being uncomfortable when you want to route to six. Don't rob yourself of success just because your friends ain't blessed with the mindset that you blessed with. Many people have stopped their pursuit of greatness simply because a negative-minded friend. These friends so negative. These friends don't think positive. They don't know how to think positive because they environment and they saw a lot messed up at home. But yours ain't like that. God put some kind of gift in you. You got a talent in you. You got something in you that's not in them. And you got to go out and give it to the world because we waiting on it. I need your gift. I need to see it. Because you might enable me to do something I need to do. But I got to go through you. I need you to get from around these negative people. Either change your friends or be best friends by your own self. Learn a book or table for one and get to know you. Stop wanting to know around everybody. Sometimes you got to get to know you. They don't want to go. They don't want to grow. They can't come around with you no more. Get from around these negative people. Stay around positive people that think with positive energy that's trying to grow. If they ain't trying to grow, they ain't your friend no more. They the enemy. And those are Drew's Drop. Whoopsie. Make sure y'all hit me the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kelvin Tut. Hit me up on Instagram at I am Kelvin Tut. And share this video with five of your friends. And make sure you change the friends around you. If they ain't trying to do what you trying to do. You ain't aggressive. You ain't passive. You just being flexible about your life. And you gonna lose people when you trying to get around success. When you're trying to level up, you got to knock them devils down. Feel what I'm saying? The world beyond excitement. Get you some land to build. I said, get you some land to build. I said, get you some land to build. Leave a legacy and chill. Monopolize.